Hello everyone, this is the Volkswagen ID5 GTX model year 2026 and I'm doing a charging test right now, getting 188 kilowatt at 26%, still at 500 amps and we charge to 80%, then I'm going to do a range test at 110 kilometers an hour. Again, for me, this is an estimation if you not just only drive highway, if you drive country road as well, if you drive a mix. The car has 21 inch wheels on it, um, summer tires 255 in the rear, 235 in the front, all wheel drive version with 97 kilowatt hour battery and 250 kilowatt power. It has a heat pump, we need that today, it's freezing. <laughs> I'm on my way again and this time I'm driving 113 on the speedometer because that GPS beat 110 and I think there's a Polestar 4. I think so. I reset my trip of course. I'm still in uh, normal mode, not in uh, eco mode because I don't want it. I want it warm and I think it's gonna be too cold if I turn it on. I'm still on 23 degrees, just my area seat heater on two and it's needed still six and a half degrees like this morning look at the beautiful Polestar 4 oh my nice nice driving 105 why gigantic battery you can charge amazing do it I used 10% of my battery drove 32 kilometers so you know the full range calculated, you can do it. Consumption is a bit high, but you also have to think the first 10 kilometers out of this 32 were uphill. So what's going on? Why are we driving 90? What is this? It's a bit busy now, but I just had the sun. How nice is that? What is this? Why is everyone slowing down? Um, the, the sun and eight and a half degrees. That's awesome. Woohoo! I've used 25% of the battery, drove 80 kilometers, so 320 kilometers full range. Back to cold, six and a half degrees. It rained a bit and the road is again very wet, so Boo! <laughs> That's why our consumption is also high today with this drive, even at this speed. Other than that, there's a lot of traffic and if I have to pass, I have to pass a bit faster, so it's not dangerous. But it doesn't happen too often. So it's not like 50 times or so when it's really busy. It happened maybe like five times so far where I had to pass a bit faster. So it's really okay, but it is busy. How is the Volkswagen ID5 GTX 2026 on the highway when you drive 110? Or it will be the same on a country road. Very, very nice, very comfortable. Now at 110, it's really quieter especially the road is not as wet as it was as it was before so tire noise is quieter and the wind noise is also quieter it's really nice um, like I said comfortable and stable the same as with 130 um, do I pass now I have to wait a bit someone coming and cruise control and steering assist is as great as with 130 you have to think on a country road cruise control is not 
as uh, great as it is on the highway just because the road is not as wide and you have corners and then it has to adjust more and then you have things that go off to the left or to the right so it's not as perfect but still on a, on a country road where there is not a lot of stuff happening it's still amazing and the seats are also the same as i said in my 130 test they're a bit hard but it's not horrible it's okay uh, what you also have to think uh, country road uh, when it comes to the cruise control is that you can adjust the speed very fast so if it's 100 and then you have to go to 60 i wouldn't do the swiping that takes too long but just press the minus button a bit harder and you do it four times and then you're at 60. there is automatic uh, taking the speed limit that it sees and it adjusts it but you cannot do let's say five six kilometers an hour more than what it sees it just does it exactly to that amount and that's why for me that's a no-go I used 50% of the battery, drove 172 kilometers, consumption went down, it's also 8.5 degrees, so 344 kilometers of full range, that's better. I turned around on the turnaround point, I had to pee so bad, so I did that. I had to oh. <laughs> navigate it back to the charger already before it thinks I arrive with 12%. I calculated that it should be maybe a bit more. We'll see. Um, I have 58 kilometers to go. Car thinks 102 kilometers of range. There will be 14 or even more percent. We'll see. It's still fine. I'm okay with this and I arrive with at uh, 11.33 so if the time and the state of charge is then not correct when we're there then it still thinks we're driving faster than we actually are I mean I'm driving this for an hour and 40 minutes the 113 it should learn that I'm driving this speed I hope If your company has electric cars as company cars, of course you want your employee to charge at home. It's cheaper for you and it's easier for the employee. Tronity has a software solution for you to know how much you have to pay your employee for charging at home. With the fleet manager you manage your employees and your cars. Tronity connects to the cars and knows exactly when the car is charging at home and how much. And then you get an easy monthly bill for your employee. If you want to know more, there's a link in the description below I arrived with 14% that's my average consumption um, 236 kilometers is spot on average 107 so I calculated the range and I get to 357 kilometers now it's nice and warm and sunny around 10 degrees and not raining that's the stuff Ooh, millions of birds it's not the amazing range but in the morning again it was very very cold and very rainy and wet but it was better then but gigantic tires that's how it is and the heat still did something for the, for half of the driver would say it had to heat a lot if you want to compare range results there's a link in the description below to a google sheet where i have all of my range tests in there if you want to follow me on instagram um, battery life one and if you want to support the channel there's a patreon link in the description below and here on youtube there's also channel membership and if you want to know what's happening behind the scenes i have a third youtube channel behind the battery but that's it for me thank you much for watching have a great day and take care bye